last time. He's a phantom. Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome back to the mystery files of Detective Inaba number one. All right, so God damn it, we're locked inside this frickin' house with all these crazy people that are killing. Without the proper key, there's no way to open the front doors. I think what we were doing is maybe we were gonna go look around. Oh, okay, so last time we explored a big old part of the mansion. Uh, we found some creepy crawly stuff. Um, we talked to the ghost again, favorite best character. Uh, I forgot her name, I think it was Kaide. So let's just go around and start exploring. I bet that's gonna be a load of fun. Hopefully we can actually find a key. Hey, do you know anything, by the way, best character? Oh, big ch uh, sister. Looky here, looky here. Huh? What is it? Look at this tiny key I found. Isn't it so cute? Whoa, are you serious right now? I was just visiting you because you're awesome. Look at your even more awesome, Kaide! Did you just say... Key? Just a moment ago, someone came into this room. But since they were not my big sister, I hid myself away. Good girl. Someone? Yeah, but they left really fast so I couldn't get a good look at them. I then looked around at where they stood and there. That was when I found this tiny key. Wow, good job. I wonder who this person could be. This person may very well be our elusive owner of this mansion. What? Then this key is a huge find. Hey, Kaide, do you think I could have that key? Why? It's my key. Oh boy, we're gonna have to play her in a game of patty cake for it, girl. I'm gonna freaking rock your socks. Oh wait, she has little ghost legs. She doesn't have socks. I'm gonna rock your world. That sounds wrong. Please, Kaide. That key is very important to your own chan I don't want to give it to Mr. Weirdo. But if my own chan says so. Oh, Kaide, you're the best! Ah, Minduk Saina! Kaide wasn't kidding about this key. It's awfully tiny. It's like the si It's like Barbie's key. It's a little tiny key. Indeed, if I'm not off the mark, it's likely to a drawer or a cabinet. So we should be out on the lookout for them. Huh, I wonder if we ever came across something like that before. Oh no! Oh, did I forget something locked? Hold on, I never forget anything ever. It's a proven fact. You can watch any of my videos. I've never forgotten a single thing. Um, damn it, I totally forgot where that stupid thing was, though. The room that looked to be the owner's study seemed- Oh. Wait, what? Where the hell was that? Obtain small key. Kai, can you like- are you like locked to this room spiritually? Or can you just- What if just later she was just like, no, I can leave. I just didn't want to. Don't lose my key, okay? Or I'll haunt you. I'll poltergeist you. I'll possess you and make you do stupid perverted things with your assistant. Like, give her a back massage. There we go. I wonder if this key would fit inside this drawer. Wahoo. Now we can see what's inside. Inside is another letter. I've enjoyed watching you grow up. It's so cute watching you try to keep up with me and follow me around as if you were my shadow. It feels nice to be dependent upon for things. You know that I'd do anything for you. Yes, I'd even give my life for you. Whoa, you can feel the raw emotion coming out from this penmanship. Yes, but that's not all. I mean, I get it in a sense. The older brother loves his younger brother very deeply. But doesn't the way he shows it seem off to you? Dude, older brothers show younger brothers they love them by picking on them. What the hell is this? But like fighting back if a bully comes out, you like beat the shit out of a bully. But it's just like, you don't dote on it. I mean, unless the age difference is really big and there's some sort of unusual situation going on there. Like... They had to play a parent role, almost, or guardian role. I don't know, that does seem super duper off to me. You're certainly not wrong. What's this? Ah, I found another key in here, Sugoi. The label reads, Furniture Storage Room. Might as well check it out. Obtain Mysterious Letter 2. And a Furniture Storage Room key. Thank you. And saving. Saving immediately. Alright, I don't remember anywhere there being a furniture... What? The hell are you blowing? Look at this, Mr. Inaba. I can see a picture book about flowers mixed in the rest of these books. Ha! <laughs> there was a. W 
Auto oh, nerd lived here, uh, collected flowers. Sorry, Mura, how is that relevant to this case? Oh, come on, a quick peek wouldn't hurt anybody. Oh, take a look at these flowers, Mr. Enid, but... Aw, uh, these are called forget-me-nots. Hey, I know those. Aren't they so pretty? Here, I make fun of people who like flowers. I fucking love flowers. I worked in a garden center and learned all kinds of flowers. Do you know what forget-me-nots mean in, in the language of flowers? Do I look like the person who wants to store useless trivia like flower meanings in their head? It's not useless! You could do flower arranging someday. Since you want to be a stick in the mud, I'll tell you, forget me not stand for remembrance, true love and memories. Ah, oh, isn't that so romantic? I always adore these dainty blue flowers in their message. Wouldn't it be wonderful to get one as a gift? Wink, wink, wink. Not a care of the world about that head of, oh, in that head of yours, is there? How about instead of wasting my precious time, you help me look for this key? We already have a key! Shush, you could, could you be any more dull? Yo, okay, so she likes forget-me-nots. I can remember that. Forget-me-nots for my beautiful assistant whose name I have forgotten. I think it was Nina. This doesn't look like a place where I would be using the storage room key. I would probably be looking for some kind of door. A door-shaped door. Was there anything locked anywhere? I feel like this was locked. Whoa. What the hell just happened? Okay, hold on just a second. My brain is processing what just happened. A creepy f something fell. I immediately opened this without unlocking it. Did I use the key? What is happening? Oh, what's that? A ghost! Don't be stupid. Ghosts aren't real. Except for Kaide. You can feel a piece of paper taped to the underside of the table. Why would someone hide a piece of paper here? It's a spooky ghost paper! Read it! Probably for a good reason. Let's take a look. To those who enter this mansion and find themselves in a situation where they are being chased by a murderer like I was, then this note is for you. Oh, that is so great. Why did you have to tape it to the other side of the fucking table instead of just giving it to me, though? The like, actual honest question. Go to the drawing room located on the first floor. There's a secret room hidden behind the central bookshelf. Sadly, I wasn't able to confirm my suspicions as I lacked the strength to move the bookshelf on my own. I hope that you have the better luck and find a way out. When you find this note, I will not be able to join you because I am no longer alive. But I do have one last request. Please save my precious daughter. For her safety, I have no choice but to hide her away in the storage room. That is all I ask for. This must be from Kaide's mother. You can see where her hands were trembling in the writing, and these stains. Likely her tears blotting the paper. All characteristics of one cornered and left without all oh, hope. Then it's true, she was killed by the owner of this mansion. How could he? What kind of monster corners a mother and her child, then kills them both? How many innocent lives has he taken? This has gone on far enough, Mr. Inaba. Let's go to the secret room mentioned in this note. We must nab this murderer and bring him to justice. It could be a girl! What is this? Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's do it alone, without telling anyone. And saving. Bam. Alright, what else we got in this room? I've never been here before. Carpets? What a dork. There are carpets rolled up here that are still brand new condition. They sold flooring stuff. I used to work as a floor. It was awful work. Whoa. Oh, these are poisons. I didn't even read it. Ah, did Mr. Akashi's killer get his poison from this very room? I would say you are correct, but this is the first time any one of us has entered this room. So go, you don't know that. You don't know that for a fact. You're just saying it like it's a fact. Dog? Yeah, you're right about that. Uh-uh. But where else could anyone have gotten their hands on such deadly poison in this entire mansion? The only place that houses these poisons is inside this room, which means that Akashi's murder weapon must, too, have come from here. Is it possible that the mother is murdering everyone because she's pissed the fuck off? I mean, she's a spook. She can tape things to the underside of tables. Kaide can pick up keys. Isn't it possible she could pick up a poison bottle and fuck up a bus driver? I think so. Also, the only one with access to this room would be the owner himself. So if I'm correct, that means... And the ghost! We saw a ghost in here, though! Stop going! You're pissing me the fuck off right now! I didn't even look it up. With dubious-looking chemicals. Thank you. 
perfect. So they're a they're a carpenter. No, they're a carpet poisoner. A carpet poisoner. Catalogs of what? Three beds. Hold on. Why would there be three beds? There's spare beds in case someone ruins one. All right. Uh huh. Okay. And I'm out of here. And another lamp broke. Holy crap. I wonder if the whole time those things have been breaking in accordance to, like, um, when something spooky was happening and I didn't even notice. Are we going to tell him? I need some muscle, buddy. Hey, front door key. Come on. Come out wherever you are. Found anything yet? Nah. Nothing. Oh, yeah. I did find something that could be of some use. This is a tin of lighter fluid. Wow, thanks. That actually is pretty useful. You just found that on the ground. What a clever person. Are we actually going to look? I think the doctor is somewhere too. There you are. Oh, you are right where I want to be. How awkward. Something bothers me about this bookshelf. It seems to be the only one that is free of dust. This must be the bookshelf mentioned in the note. And I can feel it moving slightly when I push against it. Dr. Harima, please help me move this. Huh? Okay. Man, this mansion is hiding all sorts of secrets. So what have we learned from playing this game so far? I think that we have learned, don't give away the keys. That's the most important thing. Knock down every painting and bookshelf to get them out of the way. Don't eat food. To think there was a secret room hidden right underneath my nose the entire time. That's very observant of you to notice that that bookshelf didn't have any dust. First an armory, then a secret room. Just what is going on with this mansion and how did we end up in this mess? Are you gonna come with me? You gonna come with, bro? No? Okay. Wow, it's pitch dark in here. Well, I'll need some kind of light. Hey. I have one. Don't do that to me. Do you want to drink the lighter fluid and die? Refill the Zippo lighter. Uh-huh. There we go. Nice. I've come prepared. Hell yeah. By sitting here in the dark. Making me do this myself. Bam. Oh, yeah. Look at all these crumpled up stupid idiot things. The waste bucket is filled completely with scrap piece of paper. Awesome. These are surveillance monitors. Its feed can show various parts of the mansion in real time. See, I wasn't being crazy when I said I always feel like I was being watched. Some crazy pervert is watching us talk. The computer is locked with a password. Wait, so we didn't even notice any cameras anywhere? Your hint is, when is Mr. X's birthday? Maybe the hint is somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe here. And here's another letter. As you've grown older, your interest in literature has risen. On my birthday 16 years ago, on October 31st, even though you were only in grade school, I wrote you a book called The Ex-Murders and gave it to you as a present. You're born on Halloween? You cannot believe my excitement when I heard you say I want to be just like Mr. X. Your fascination with murder mysteries grew. As you got older, you wanted to bring out a way to turn fiction into reality. I'm proud to say that you are indeed becoming just as suave and sophisticated as he was. You then entrusted me with a vital role. You wanted me to drive a bus so I could bring your test subjects to you. So I gladly obtained a special driver's license to accomplish this. I wanted to do anything to be useful to you. After I transported these test subjects to your mansion, you then observed their behavior closely. Our combined efforts became the basis of your next novel. It feels like we are really falling into place as the perfect team. I'm forever in your debt. It felt so good when we committed these crimes together. Okay, these letters are getting more and more deranged. The more we find them. So the younger brother is the one who owns this mansion, right? Then that means the one who wrote these letters is the older brother. And he mentions taking a job as a bus driver. No, it can't be. Mr. Enabud, there's something else attached to this letter. What's this? A cassette tape? Wow. Cool. I was hoping for a kiss mark. Okay. So, I mean, I already suspected the bus driver, but then again, I suspected everyone. All right. Uh-huh. Is it 10? 
<laughs> Looks like we've logged in. There are some files in particular that catch my eye. And you're just not gonna... Okay. Alright. Shut down! Uh-huh. I notice that the path near my mansion experiences a landslide every time there's heavy rainfall to the point where one can get cut off from the outside world. Due to this, this isolated mountain is an ideal spot for a murder mystery. Whenever an extended downpour is scheduled to happen, I set the stage to play my part. It's the least I can do for those lucky individuals who are able to die in their roles for my masterpiece. To keep things from getting stale, I laid hints throughout my mansion, which can lead them back to me. Then I concealed myself from detection. Not like those hints will ever lead to fruition, however. Even if someone does manage to find their way to me, there's no communication to anyone from the outside. Though I can't say it wouldn't make an interesting chapter to have a heroic confrontation, a battle of wits. This is my life's work. I will continue to bring people here and will observe their struggles against fate for all eternity. Or until I die of old age at the age of ripe 75. How awful. I can't believe this guy is the mastermind behind all this. He killed Kaide's mother, Mr. Akashi, Mr. Komatsu, Mr. Nakaya. He killed them all. Yo. It could be the bus driver. Stop that. He won't get away with this. Alright. Whoa. This is not... Wait, hold on. Let me take a swig of my coffee as I analyze this. Alright. As I spill it on my fucking shirt. It's cool. It's a black shirt. All right. Um, 1F. Is that the first floor? I mean, of course 1F is it. They look like little tiny faces. I learned recently that's called pareidolia, where you see faces and things. It's not important right now. It does, in fact, look like there's a secret. Oh, there are those ladders or windows? Huh. All right. The third floor. I remember that's where you went up and... Uh, I think that's the entrance to... Ah, eh, shit. I don't know. Hmm. Screenshot! Screenshot! Oh, yeah. Screenshot is happening. What happened? Stop it with your flicking... Oh, uh, how do you print screen again? There we go. Oh, yeah. Bam. MS Paint is happening. Look at this. Who else? People would edit this out if they were actual authentic YouTubers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know what any of this shit is. Whatever. Just keep it up. Bam. All right. Thank you. Get me out of here. Sugoi. Hello. All right. Let's go check on the bus driver. Let's go check on that dirty, dirty bus whore. God damn these stupid things. I think he was over here. I've got some questions for you. Are you really dead? Akashi's corpse has become cold to the touch! Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna take an assessment here that he might be dead. But it could be... Maybe. He's disguised another corpse to look exactly like his own. Oh, what a jerk. Did I get anything? Um, we should probably maybe, like, talk to Kaide that her mother, like, is hella dead. Did my key help you out? Yes, it did. Good job. Use key on... Wait, where the fuck did... Are we just not gonna tell her that we found this note? That's kind of rude. Oh, we gotta play a cassette somewhere. I don't remember there being a ca That's not a cassette player. Where, where was a cassette player? Come on. Nothing. Ah, jeez. Maybe there was a cassette player. Wait a minute, there was a frickin' radio. I remembered. At the very last possible second. Do it. Alright, then then do it. Don't stop it. Alright, there you go. That was a go to line and a ball. Good job, you know your animals, Nina. Why is the world what they be it? Sounds animal. Wait, what? Why in the world would this just be sounds animals make? 
Could be a hint, perhaps. We've got to fuck a goat, a lion, and a bull. A goat, lion, bull. G-L-B. So, a goat eats the lion, and a lion eats the bull. That is not accurate. Alright, well, you know what? I bet that's going to make sense when we actually interact with the puzzle it's referring to. Will you... Oh, no! The painting was hanging on the wall. seems to have fallen down. Should we check it out? Ah, oh, dang it. I hate it. The... You need to make it so there's a little tiny millisecond before you can press space. Frick it. I'm going to slow it down and HD capture quality so people can read it, though. This painting was some kind of snake. There's something written on the back. The 13th sign. What could that mean? Some kind of hint, certainly. I'll commit it to memory. Oh, we're looking for dust things. Okay. Oh, that would make sense. We're going to remove... This painting is some flowers. Dang it, I was expecting those to be freaking like... Ah! Oh, you stupid stairs! Okay. I was expecting, like... The paintings to be the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Mm hmm. Let's whip this back out. All right. So we're on the second floor right now. There's a couple rooms. We go up, there's a ladder, there's the two stairs. Wait a second. What is happening on the left there? Oh, wait. Nope. We already knew that. Third floor. No, we knew that too. There's a secret. Wait, is there a secret entrance on the third floor? What is happening? I think that's what that just said. Oh, look how freaking subtle that was. Jesus. You see there's like a little red diddly-do? Look here. Don't you think this section of the wall is covered, colored differently? Really now? Then you won't mind if I push this wall in. Yeah! Mr. Enabuck, you're not going to believe this. This is the revolving wall. Does a ninja live here? What the hell? That doesn't look like a revolving door. You lied to me. But we're on the other side! Hell yeah. What do we got? What do we have here? Doors? The double doors aren't locked. There is an input device attached to them. Whoa. What? Where was a clue for this? Double doors seem to have unlocked. All right, so I'm going to put up an explanation for that bullshit. Wow, that's piano. Jump. What's this, a bar? What is happening? Give me the shiny. Another letter. My darling baby brother. I'll do whatever I can to prove my worth to you. Yesterday... I went to town to prepare your test subjects for you, as per the usual. Ah, just to see the happiness on your beautiful face. I'll listen to anything and everything you have to say. Then, you told me the best news of my entire life. You asked me to become one of your test subjects tomorrow. This is so wonderful. I get to die for my younger brother. There can be no greater happiness. I can't wait for this day to come. I'm eagerly awaiting for my fated hour. By the time you read this, I'll be gone from this world, won't I? All I have to... Oh, all I want you to know after I'm gone is how I truly feel about you. Thank you for everything. Nagito, my charming other younger brother. You made me the luckiest man in the whole white world. With your love, your older brother, Kotaro Akashi. These... These letters are from Mr. Akashi. It seems so. I, I can't believe it. The same Mr. Akashi who drove us to our destination was complicit in the killer's acts. Indeed he was. But he mentioned that his brother's name is 
Nagato? I don't think I've ever heard that name before. Could he really be lurking somewhere in the shadows? Yeah. Mr. Inaba, I see now. So, that's how he did it. Huh. Have you figured it out? Arimura, I want you to bring Harima and Nakagishi here. Huh? Okay. I'm going to unravel this mystery once and for all. <laughs>